Very good evening to you, viewers, and we are glad to be able to join you here on CBC TV 8. Um, this is the first of a number of sessions that we will share with you. We are from the Church of the Nazarene Barbados District. Um, I'm Reverend Farley, and with me, I have Reverend Kelman. Both of us are, apart from being pastors, in the church, both of us are professional counselors. And therefore, we, even as we would share with you during this series, which is focusing really um, on areas of family life. Now, why family life? We believe that as we look at Barbados, um, and we see, indeed, the Caribbean, in the world, we see there is an outsurge of violence, um, and there's decadence de 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 in the society. And we believe that much of this can be addressed not by dealing with the symptoms, but by dealing with the root cause. And we believe that a lot of the problems we have in our society are embedded in the family, rooted in the family. And therefore, we want to be able to address some of these issues that ultimately we can build a better Barbados. Our focus is motivated by a verse in Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 14. I want to read from the word. And it says, Remember the Lord, who is great and awesome, and fight for your brothers and your sons and your daughters, your wives and your homes. So this program, we are fighting for the family to build stronger family in Barbados. Reverend Calvin will say a prayer for us at this time. Almighty God, we give you thanks for this opportunity to be able to speak to an issue that is so very dear to our hearts and so very necessary to help us to build a, a stronger nation. We pray, God, for your divine empowerment as we will share. But also we pray, Father, for receptivity. Those who will hear and listen, Lord, that indeed uh, they'll be challenged, Lord, to change and to, and, to, and to build stronger families. We give you thanks even now. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Invite a friend. Call a friend and invite a friend to share with us. We'll be here for the next half hour. And we'll be right back as we strive to describe what is a family. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. All right, we are back with you. As I said earlier, we want to start by describing what is a family. Reverend Kelman, what would you say? Thank you very much. For the well, as you would have begun to, to share, uh, it's, it's the basic building block of society, you know, uh, two more persons living together, and usually they're related by blood, or there's some level of affinity, probably marriage. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to be very clear in terms of of the our Caribbean context, because sometimes we we speak to the nuclear family as as being you know that which is is discussed in one of the family. But the truth of the matter is that there are many different kinds and types of families. But uh, so we want to, we want to be very clear about that. And also, even in our context, of our family, we have uh, cases where persons are not necessarily by blood, uh, but someone may go to to a house, a friend, and twenty years later. They're still living there. Mm -hmm. And of course, they are part of that family because they have been influenced by the norms and values um, in that particular family. Let me, let me also say, though, that um, it's the first institution of, of socialization 
-hmm. and therefore it makes the family a very a very key element mm -hmm. in the success or, or, or challenge of those persons who are being affected, especially children. Right, and of course, listeners, that's one of the reasons why we think that in trying to grapple with the multiple problems in our society, um, since the family is, in, in a sense, the first, the cradle that's right. of the community, right. and, of, and, of, of the society. Yes, and mm -hmm. let me say this as well, that in, in, in the context of the family, and we need to hear this, uh, the, the, the is two, there are two different kinds of, of elements. One is the issue in terms of, of the, let's say, the, the executive, uh, that part of the family that's responsible for things like rules and ensuring that values are maintained. I mean, that's the, the parental part of the family. And then, of course, there's the, the, the sibling, you know, that, that part of the family that basically responds to, to what the, the parents uh, would, would deem to be, to be correct and right. And, and that's important to note, though, because in our, in our entire society, there, there is that element carry, carry right through. There are those who are in authority, and there are those who are at the same level of peer groups. Mm -hmm. And, and once, once a child is able to understand the element of rule and, and, and order uh, and values in the context of the family, then that is generalized to, to, the, to the wider um, society. And so, and so maintaining that kind of, of you know, a structure mm -hmm. is a critical element in terms of, of, of children being able to, to find their footing mm -hmm. in the way that, in the way that society. Yes, of course. In the Caribbean society, it's not only, in some cases, the mother or the father, but I would say in the earlier Caribbean society, yes, extended the family. extended family was, yes, yes. because, I mean, I recall my uncle scolding me. And, and, and in many ways, I thought, how, how dare he? Yes. He's not my father. <laughs> you know, but, well, 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 <laughs> you, know, you know, I mean, we're talking about family, but, <laughs> but in, our, in our early years of uh, party, you know, it was just the uncle, it was even the neighbor as well. But that's true. You know, it's so the, very true. But the right, and, 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 it, and it, they don't keep any noise because right. uh, when, we get, when we got home, there'd be a mm. second set of, yes. of scolding or some licks as well, too. Yeah, I know sometimes we refer to that casually. But in many ways, it was like the village raising you. That's right. You know, and That's I think right. we've lost that. Yes. And, and, and I think you, you were, you were very, very correct, though, in your allusion to the extended family, because I believe that much of what we struggle with now in our, in our context is because we have lost that mm -hmm. uh, particular element of, of our society. Of course, there are lots of social forces that would have created um, that, that, that loss. I mean, our grandparents are younger these days and yes. they're out working. Yes, you know, that's very uh, important. Yes, uh, persons tend to move away from home as soon as they get a job and mm -hmm. they are uh, working want to establish their own community, their, their, their own home. Mm -hmm. So, so we, we've lost that that element of the extended family. Uh, but it was critical though because you know when, when parents were away from home, the grandparents were there to help. To I, and you felt and, safe. And the, and the safe. You felt safe leaving yeah, your yes. children with the grandparent or auntie. And you don't have to worry about abuse. That's right. That, that whole last key thing. Yes. Of children can go from school and yes. they're able to go into the house and mm -hmm. and I left the own devices. Yes. Um, that wasn't there because it was yes. always with that at home uh, to ensure that that, that, that whole structure and uh, the values, the rules you know, mm -hmm. were, were maintained. You know, I'm not saying that we have to go back there, but I think some of those core values, we have to go back there. Yeah. We, have to, we have to resurrect some of those core values. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, really creates a opportunity for, for the for, for ministry and mm -hmm. uh, for the church, really, you know, to be able to find uh, useful ways uh, to engage uh, children, you know, um, uh, some children in the afternoons, you know, uh, so as to kind of help with the, with the uh, strengthening of those kind of values yes. um, that fathers are attempting not able to do. Because let's face it, you know, um, we live in a, very, in a very challenging society and Oftentimes, we are ever so uh, both, busy. Both parents need to be to be at yes, work, yes. you know, uh, if it will mm -hmm. make uh, ends meet. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, I believe that you know we have to come alongside them and hold their hands, yes. um, so we can kind of build and reinforce the kind of values that are, are, are critical. So very true. The church has to help. Apart from coming alongside them, I think that the church has a role to play in terms of reaching out to the community. Yes. Not only the church folk. But the community, and I think we're talking again about there. We're talking about solutions, and I'm think I'm talking the whole idea of seminars that are relevant yes. um, for single parents, yes. seminars 
for persons who are married, mm -hmm. um, seminars for the teenagers, mm -hmm. you know? Not even, only seminars, but some kind of interactions. Yes, even we construct our church plots in the future, mm -hmm. you know, it will be, it will be the, 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 the community needs, yes. you know, and how we can respond mm -hmm. to those needs. But you raise an, uh, uh, an element there of a private, you want to comment on that, the single parent family. Mm -hmm. uh, we mentioned the extended family, uh, but there's also a single parent family. Uh, That's common in our Caribbean very, society. Very common in our, yeah. in our society. Yeah. And of course, that could be uh, male headed or at times, well, female headed, you know, uh, generally, but, but also there's also male headed. You recall the book, my, my Mother Who but Fathered Me. Clark, you yes. know, and, um, That's the reality, isn't it? And it is a reality. Mm -hmm. and, and let me say, though, that, that um, one of the things that I believe is very, very important in terms of single parent families is that there, there ought to be some way that we can support them because, as you can imagine, uh, trying to, to struggle between, you know, uh, taking care of children and, and earning, you know, the upkeep can be very, very difficult. And, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes, you know, parents have to make uh, harsh decisions. Yes. And sometimes the children may suffer. They suffer. But so, I mean, also to a situation where that single parent, um, whether it's male or female, have to be fulfilling both roles. That's right both roles of mother and father, vice versa. And that can become, that can present some pressures. That's why we need the uncles to step in That's and right. the aunties to step in, even in, even in the church. That's the point, you know, and, and you're raising, <coughs> you're raising a point that I've always uh, been to over the years, though, that in, in, in cases where there is that single parent with their voice. Uh, reality, there needs mm -hmm. to be other persons that come alongside and help them. Yes. Though, um, because, because I mean, I, when you think about it, and I have often, uh, so it's a single parents in my congregation that I really admire um, their strength and tenacity because mm -hmm. uh, in cases where there are two parents, uh, the load is, is heavy and it is difficult. There you, you go. Know? There you go. You get sick, you have mm -hmm. to go to the doctor, yes. go back to work, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, for a single parent to do that, I really want to commend them, yes. you yes. know, um, in terms of what they're doing. But I, I still maintain, though, um, that it's very, very important that there is that element of, of support. And, and especially where the, the single parent is, is a mother. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the most common uh, form of single parent. In, in our community, uh, correct. Community, mm -hmm. right? I, I think that the, the, the presence of, of a male figure, especially when it comes to boys, is, is critical and yes. crucial. Yes, yes. Uh, because the truth of the matter... So why is that? Why is that? Because I, I think that the kind of time when boys need to be able to, to connect with a, with a, a male, you know... That models so that, that model, masculinity. That's right, for them. Yes, yes. And, and of course, you know, now was here... Have the, have the total solution, you know, mm -hmm. we're also in the process, well, I'm in the process. Of but of course, too, you, you need a male father, female, who, where there's no father in a home, to model, Very important. model how males should behave. Yes, and you, and you miss that, though, because sometimes, 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 yes. sometimes, sometimes you more you think know, of yeah. a male father boys. Well, for the boys, right, <laughs> yes. that point, the girls, yes. You know, the first male that comes along and expresses love, mm -hmm. you know, um, that, that female can find herself. Fall apart. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, uh, yes. rushing when I had long. And then we issue. become critical. And then it become, becomes yes. an issue. So, but, but as, so, so, so having, having that, 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 uh, that gender difference in the, in the context of the mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. uh, becomes a, a, a critical uh, component in terms of the maturation of, of, of the children. Very true. The because you have to understand that you're raising, sometimes you see the child as a child, as if they were a child always, but you're raising a mother, you're raising a father, you're raising a husband, you're raising a wife, you know? And this is critical, you know? I, I mean, <coughs> I, I know that we have to kind of um, think it through some more, but, but there has to be some, some mechanism that we, we seek to create that allows us as, 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 as a church, and I speak of the church in terms of, of, of national church, uh, I'm not talking just about church of Nazarene, mm -hmm. um, but the church that we can find some way of interplay of, of of engagement beyond just simply you know Sunday morning and Wednesday night you know mm -hmm. um, where we can actually you know uh, engage families whether it's, whether it's through a big brother big sister you know um, some kind of of exercise whereby males connect with uh, single parent families mm -hmm. as a way to kind of support yeah. the females. And the it seems family. to me. Uh, you're suggesting perhaps even in building our, our churches, we have to think in terms of the plan that we have. But it's not just well, have a have a gym. Yes, that's not you know you, you have a gym, a gym. Yeah. Um, other things where uh, basketball court, 
you know, a kitchenette where, where, kitchenette. where, where, where the, the children would come there and give us a school, have, yeah. a, mm -hmm. have a little snack, and so yeah. on, maybe, yeah. mm -hmm. um, you know, have a little homework. Yeah, and exactly. Critical, home, critical, critical. Right? Um, mm -hmm. I, I think we have to but these are solutions that are real. Yes, yes. Uh, I think the church has to stop talking about them yeah. and, and start initiating right. and work with the homes, yes. you know? Yes. Well, listeners, we, we hope you um, are listening carefully because we're not coming here just to... Um, present our talk about problems, but with the help of the Holy Spirit, we are also talking about solutions. As I said to you, Reverend Kelvin and myself, we are both professional counselors, and we have some ideas we want to share with you. Some of these things that we share, you may know, but it's good to repeat things of, of, of significance. Wait, or, or if we, if we can start a public discussion, public discussion. There you go, yeah. You know, about these solutions. These sessions are discussion start, starters, that's yes. half of an hour. Yes. And now we'll take a break now, we'll be back with you shortly. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. We're back with you again. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, the elements of family life which we did not touch on in our initial segment was that of the blended family mm -hmm. and with the proliferation of, of divorce and we're told that of every two marriages will end in formal divorce mm -hmm. and, uh, and what we're seeing is that there are a number of, of persons who are coming together who are getting married and they're bringing their own uh, children into that marriage mm -hmm. and, uh, and that creates a kind of a blended yes. uh, arrangement. And so we're seeing a blended family then is to divorce, to divorce parties. Oh, well, maybe divorce, they may just they may have had children, yes. not be married, but they're getting yeah. married now, yeah. together now. Correct, yes. And they create a home yes. where they have, uh, where, where, where mother and, and, and father mm -hmm. are bringing their own children their own into children, that, yeah. that space. And, and the uh, thing about it, that the children can be different, a range of different ages that's too. Right. That's right. But they also have the... If they're close, right. if the children are close in age, that may be yes. a plus. But the, but the <laughs> challenge though is that sometimes... Uh, the children are committed in an environment that the, where the values are a bit different. That's right. That's uh, right. What they're accustomed to, mm -hmm. and that can lead to, mm -hmm. uh, to phenomenal conflict. Yeah. Of course, the other issue revolves around uh, the pair who is not a part mm -hmm. of that arrangement, and mm -hmm. sometimes that pair may be, may be upset mm -hmm. because of uh, their partner moving on. Yeah. And so they try to manipulate the yes. relationship from, from the outside, mm -hmm. uh, saying things to the children like, he's not your father, she's not your yes. mother. Yes. You don't have to listen to them. And um, yeah. those are serious and situations. And that can bring pressure to bear yeah. mm -hmm. on the family as well. So, 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 I, I so, find also when they're teenagers. Oh, yes. There are teenagers involved. Yes. yes. You've got to be sure that when you're making that decision. Yes. To remarry yes. the teenagers on board. If yes, not, I, yes, yes, you I, have serious trouble. I refer you are so correct, you know, and, and I, I recommend though that um, in those kinds of situations, uh, where possible, you have a family meeting. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, persons push back against it, or sometimes they say, well, no, um, I get pretty well with his children or with her children. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've seen cases where uh, they've gone home quite well before. Yeah. Once a marriage occurs, yes. then all it's, it's final. All it's final. final occurs, yeah. you know? But I think that, that is important. I think counseling is important as yes, well. Yes. Counseling not only of the parties who are marrying, yes. but you need to be able to, especially the older children, yes. have yeah. some kind of counsel and make sure they're ready for this transition. That's right. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the reality of it is that they're not, they didn't ask for it. That's right. They didn't ask for it. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to get remarried and yes. for them to be catapulted into yes. a yes. different kind of arrangement. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though you may say that they ought not to, to determine what you do as, a, yes. as the adult. But it's like can be their selfish. Voice, their voice must be yeah. heard. Yeah, and the adult can't be selfish. Yes. can't pick up themselves in, only. In the consideration. Yes, yes. You know, um, mm -hmm. and, 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 that, and that brings us squarely, though, into the whole idea of, of the, 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 the healthy family. Mm -hmm. So, and... Mm -hmm. um, uh, I know you're going to share that shortly, but mm -hmm. but I just want to, to establish the importance of having having values, though. Mm -hmm. You know, and and sometimes it's a struggle, like you said, especially because of teenagers. You know, mm -hmm. there's a struggle. Yeah. Uh, but the establishment of, of firm values become uh, a major a major factor yeah. in the mm -hmm. family cohesion. But let me mm -hmm. talk about the issue of happy families. Right. Um, okay. I just wanted to share an extract from the book Family Shock. Um, this presentation was by Nick Stinnett and John Deframe. 
and they were listing what they say are six qualities of a strong family. Um, strong families are characterized by commitment, by appreciation, communication, spiritual commitment, time together, and coping ability. I don't know, you know, we talked just now about the whole idea of um, values. Perhaps, Reverend Kelvin, you want to come in on number five first, spiritual commitment. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, I think that that really for us is it's foundational. Is mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, in terms of what we believe about family mm -hmm. and the origin of family is the gift uh, from God, yes. you know, for, for the continuation of, 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 of society and therefore having that strong commitment in terms of spiritual and Christian values becomes for us um, our, our basis. And, and, and I believe, though, that uh, when we understand that, then other things will, will just come into place. It's foundational. In terms of, of, but we, of ha but we have some problems, Robin Gellman, because sometimes you have situations where um, persons would say, well, when I was brought up, when I was raised, I had to go to church three times a day. Uh, not well on Sundays right. and during the week and so on. So now I am a parent. I don't think I want to put my children through that. Yes. Yeah, they go to the extreme. And I, 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 I'll be very. <laughs> You've heard that, haven't you? I'm going to be very um, <laughs> blunt on that one, though, because sometimes I believe that uh, some children were abused spiritually. Yes, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and I know that I may get some flack for that, but that's okay. Yeah. Because I've seen cases where children were, were dead tired, dead sleepy in church. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to go. So try to church. Yeah. I've seen mm -hmm. where um, mm -hmm. children were ill. You know? Yeah. And, mm -hmm. um, and I think there has to be uh, the overriding. Um, so they call that spiritual abuse? Yeah. <laughs> the overriding factor of love has to be, has yes. to be, yes. has to be there. And, 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 and spiritual commitment mm -hmm. goes beyond church. Yes. You know? um, yes involves the kind of uh, examples that you've set mm -hmm. in the context of, yes. of the home. I said to you earlier that mm -hmm. one of the issues in terms of home has mm -hmm. to do with uh, the parents being, quote unquote, the executive. Yes. Mm -hmm. And therefore, they're the ones who are, are expected to model the kind of values mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. children. So it involves modeling those spiritual values. You know, um, uh, how, do you, how do you manage things like anger in the home? Mm -hmm. You know, I know that a lot of homes that things express a mental anger because mm -hmm. they're, they're from most of the times, what happened, of course, you know, when we do even our marriage counseling, uh, when we deal with conflict, you always tend to have to go back to when you were young, how was conflict managed in your right, home? Because right. more. Did you experience conflict? Yeah. yeah. Well, what were your views on conflict? Yeah, because, because more or not, what you saw patterned is what you do without even realizing. That's right. And yeah. some persons don't, don't understand that, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I am a believer that we are, that, that continuity in our lives, mm -hmm. you know, is, mm -hmm. a, is a lot more evident mm -hmm. uh, than difference. And sometimes uh, maybe we want to change, it has to become intentional mm -hmm. because the natural pattern is to continue with what we see in yeah. our own our But own, you see, yeah. human beings families. like to go the easy way. Mm -hmm. The way the water runs, yes. it flows. Path of, path of least resistance. Yeah, yeah, path of resistance. And yes. I think, the point we made just now, we talked about spiritual commitment, yeah. but the whole idea of coping ability, we're talking about strong families. That's right. And, and, and Teaching and like, families, her children, how to cope. That's right. When crises arise, right. they see how we cope. Yes. And crises could be sickness. Yeah. It could be a financial issue. It could be COVID-19. But there you go. It could be COVID-19. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean that, that has been a, a very significant crisis. Yes. I'm sure we're going to deal with that. Oh, yes. Because, yes. Because we have seen Two programs in the row we talked about that. We've seen how that mm -hmm. has impacted our families in, in, a, serious in, a, in a very significant way. In, in serious ways. Even, um, it's just a family violence, you know. Yes, um, yes. And, and I tell I tell the persons that it's not just the COVID, it's all the other um, issues mm -hmm. and illnesses that yes. have emerged from the whole yes. um, I, I think experience. I think the COVID situation, because of the um, intensity, has, has brought a lot to the fore. Yes. These things didn't happen, didn't start out COVID. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, it's like a COVID house. may trigger. It's like a house. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, the walls may, may, look, may look great, mm -hmm. but when you put the, the ring beam the on pressure, the roof, pressure. then you still cracks it up yeah, there, yeah. you know? Um, so mm -hmm. I think COVID has, has, been, has been that. And we look at that yes. eventually. But I want to say to parents out there, we are seeing, we are talking about building strong families. So we're seeing that you have to be able to help your children cope with 
difficulties and crises. Don't hide them from them. You know, you, you obviously know how to shield them, but we have to share with them. Because generally speaking, we're saying that the, in early life, a child's most basic values are learned. Right. And we're talking about coping with situations, um, how to deal with one another, right, right. relationship right, issues, right, right. you know? Well, well, I remember Andrew says that um, the values are, are, are caught, not necessarily taught. There you go. Right? There you so go. That, that, mm -hmm. to me, that, that gives a, a, a basic <laughs> a backdrop yes. to what you just said. But I also <coughs> thought about the whole element of flexibility as well, you know, um, in terms of coping. Um, ability because sometimes, as you correctly said, families go through crisis. Mm -hmm. um, that crisis could be job loss, could be even death. Yeah, you know, and uh, how the family uh, reconfigures and reorients is going to be important and to go forward. And, and, and even how roles may change. Yes, and one of the things that we, we, we oftentimes talk about in terms of, of the structure of families that that though there is a structure, it should not be so rigid yes. that persons cannot. You know, um, maybe you know, adapt and adjust to, to different different role, different role sets, mm -hmm. different contexts. Yeah. Uh, the family and sometimes, sometimes that's the issue, mm -hmm. where the roles are so are so rigid that a crisis occurs and uh, mm -hmm. there can be no adjustment or there's, or there's no willing, willingness yes. to adjust and and end that 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 is rigid mm -hmm. will fracture. Yeah, we need flexibility. Yes. So we talk about commitment. Commitment members of strong families are dedicated to promoting each other's welfare and the happiness, uh, appreciation. They express a great deal of appreciation and affirmation. I'm not sure if we live in a community where we affirm one another. We are very quick to pull down. That's right. You know? and, and, and I guess the society is a reflection of your family. Yes, there you go. It's a continuation of the family. There you go, so, there you go. So if, if a child you know, learns... Um, you know, that, that you know, shame from, from being condemned, then they themselves will, yes. will use that as their, as their own uh, way yeah. of dealing with the situation. We should never be little affirmation, though. That's right. It's and very I, critical. I, yeah, I, th I think it's something that... Let, we, let them see us doing it, too, with our spouse. Yes. You know, or yeah. with our, with our I, I, I kind of wonder sometimes, Robert Farley, if lack of affirmation has also to do with our own... Um, Esteem? Of, of identity as, 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 Esteem. as people. Yes. You know, mm. um, and... Uh, you know, I, I, I'm sure sometime we'll do a study on that though because yes, yes. because I, I, I see a lot of a lot of um, abuse, harsh words. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but you know what? People will say to you, "This is how it was brought up." My father was like this. Yes. My my mother was like this. I mean, and that's this is how I am. And I they mean well though, you know. But I can't change. They mean, and they mean, in some cases they mean well too. In some cases they they, they mean well. But well, listeners. <laughs> Time has gone so fast, Reverend Kelvin. We go, we'll come back to some of these issues. That's right, that's right. Uh, we, we're hoping to be with you every Sunday at 5 o'clock, 5 to 5.30 um, for the balance of the year. So we are not going to exhaust these issues. Uh, family is a very important and dynamic topic. Father, we thank you for sharing, as we can share with our families across Barbados and beyond. We pray that what we have shared will be able to make sense and make a difference, a positive difference in the lives of our families across Barbados. We give you thanks, Lord, for Christ's sake. Amen. Well, thank you very much, viewers, for being with us this afternoon. And we look forward to our time together every Sunday evening uh, around uh, 5.30. 5 o'clock, we'll be with you. And uh, uh, let us know what are some of your concerns uh, so we can address them on, on this program. God bless you. And uh, have a, a great evening. Our, our telephone number is 435-4444. Uh, feel free to call us at that number if you have any concerns or any suggestions uh, so we can better serve you in this context. God bless.